King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the apple, so a mefeli made a few rich and rest of Nigerians poorer, says Tinubu, in response to CBN saga, as you know, the um, the whole um, you know summit going on in France, Paris, where uh, Tinubu, I mean, a mefeli came up, mefeli's issue came up. And Tinubu had to explain that he was not um, winch hunting the young man. It's just what he has discovered. And he's trying to put things in place so that at the end of the day, you know, nobody takes things for granted. You see, these are part of some of the issues and some of the matters that are really, you know, going on right now. Every single person is wondering and asking the same question. Just how did we get here? Like, seriously, how did we get here? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. A mefili made a few rich and the rest of Nigerians poorer, says Tinubu in first response to CBN saga, even as things begin to. So this is a uh, President Bola met Tinubu to why, as to why he's held a mefili the way he has. Suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Emefili, made a few connect, connected people wealthy. Why Nigerians became poorer, President Bola Metinobu said in Paris on Friday. The president who was holding his first meeting with Nigerians in diaspora described as rothing the controversies and all that has been going on with the financial system that Emefili enthroned as CBN governor, what he did and how he carried it out. According to Tinubu, the financial system was rotten. Few people were making away with millions. That is gone now. That man, Emefili, is in the hand of the authorities and he will pay dearly for it. Emefili has hurt into detention by agents of the secret police two weeks ago after he was suspended by the president who in his inaugural address had promised to, to thoroughly clean up the apex financial institution where all this thing, criticisms and rigging foreign exchange system opened a messy route. It, within a few months, Nigeria and the foreign all collaborating led Nigeria into more debt. Tinubu's comment comes exactly 14 days after the suspended and former CBN chief was seen in a wide circulated video taken to Lagos airport, alighting from a security truck and being led into a wanted plane, a waiting plane for, for departure to their offices, cops. He was being carried away. A statement by the office of the secretary of the government of the Federation said the suspension and detention was meant to pave the way for comprehensive investigation and the start of the financial system, reforms promised by Tinubu. Speaking further in France, on Friday, Tinubu said his administration will would impart further financial reforms in the coming weeks. He, he cited the difficulty in the flow of the forex in and out of country, which he said enrich a few people. Why impoverishing vast majority of Nigerians? The president who described Nigeria as currently in challenge said he's prepared for the job ahead and everyone should give him his undying support. So this is exactly what is going on in Nigerians. We can see for a fact that things are no longer how you may think about it. It is important that we all begin to align and ensure that we do all that is needed, necessary to take us from where we are to where we ought to be. Now, the president, Bola Metinubu, is still in France. He has not returned, to the best of my knowledge, and um, he had to meet with Nigerians and diaspora. Now, in meeting with Nigerians and diaspora, he had to report Godwin Emefili and bring up, you know, the whole Emefili saga and all that has been going on. Trying to explain to Nigerians that it's in the hands of DSS does not mean that I orchestrated it or I'm winch hunting him or anything of such. He said, no, none of that. He said, Emefili, you know, has already, you know, destroyed the trust of Nigerians. 
So the Mifeli went ahead and made a few Nigerians very wealthy, very rich, while others he impoverished. You know, he turned a blind eye to where he should seriously speak, you know, and ensure that the government is aware and the people are aware of what was going on. But he said Mifeli, according to him, mismanaged the office with which he was given to be the Central Bank of Nigeria governor. Said Emifeli seriously mismanaged that office and is here to correct that to make sure Emifeli paid daily, knowing that with responsibility comes consequences because whatever you do, you will be given an opportunity to account for it. And that, I think, is a life lesson, okay? Because um, whatever position you find yourself right now, could either make or ma, what are you doing with the opportunity you have right within your grasp? What are you doing with it? What are you really doing with it? Are you just sitting back there looking and saying, oh, all is all right. All is fine. Everything is going on as planned as normal. Or you're making efforts to ensure that you make a meaningful impact in the world that you have come to find yourself. Because whether you like it or not, a day will come. You will have to give accountability for all that has happened. You will have to speak out and you will have to make sure that everybody knows. So it is important that we do not neglect the part of honestly speaking and doing what that is needed and necessary to transform and to change the course of what is going on. Nigerians are in that really, really you know, situation where we all must stand up and we must stop everything and anything that does not move us forward as a nation and as a people. It is important that we understand this. So remember, God in Emefili may be going through a lot right now, but what are you doing? You know, Tinobu might be speaking and saying, God in Emefili, you know, he has done this, but is Emefili the only one? There are other people who are also, you know, who, are, who also contributed to all of this, who also took part in all of this. What about Buhari? What about Malami? Abubakar Malami? What, what's happening to them? Is it, is it a game of the, uh, you know, survival of the fittest? Some persons go scot free. Why some other people have to go through it and, you know, and uh, pay for the, what they've done? So it is what it is. It is what it is. And so the days have become very clear. We are nobody. Just sit back there and think that all is well. Yes? So it is a new, it's, it's a step in a new direction. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.